You know what drives me crazy is that cheap scientific calculators that cost 10 or $15 can simplify radicals, but the TI-83 and 84 graphing calculators that cost over $100 can't do that. Well, I found a workaround. If you recall, simplifying radicals means taking the radicand, which is the number under the radical, and breaking it apart in factors so that you have perfect squares and you can simplify the expression. Well, let's see, for example, say you want to simplify radical 50. 50 can be factored as 5 times 10, but that does not do you any good because 5 is not a perfect square and neither is 10. However, if you factor 50 as 25 times 2, radical 50 becomes radical 25 times radical 2. The square root of 25 is 5, and your simplified expression is now 5 radical 2. You can learn to recognize when uh, you see perfect square factors by becoming familiar with the sequence of squares. But what happens when the numbers get a little bigger? Here's more examples. Radical 80 can be simplified as 4 radical 5. Radical 52 simplifies to 2 radical 13. But what happens when you get an expression with a larger radicand? Well, for help, you can search the internet for a longer list of perfect squares. But I found a way to use your graphing calculator to help. Take the uh, the uh, go ahead and hit on the uh, graphing enter an equation button y equals and let's say we're trying to simplify radical 567 enter the equation y equals 567 over x and then set up your table so that you let the values of x start at 1 and increment up from there to 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and then display that table. Here it is. Let's zoom in and take a closer look at that table. The first row in the table is 1 times 567. You can also factor 567 as 3 times 189. What you're looking for is a row of numbers in the table where there's no decimals. Well, that doesn't do you any good. Three is not a perfect square, and neither is 189. The next row on the table that has no decimals is 7 times 81. Well, that sounds promising. 7 is not a perfect square, but 81 is. Keep going down the table, and you can factor it as 9 times 63. 9 is a perfect square, but 81 was bigger than, than 9, so I think that's going to be our answer. So let's factor 567 as 81 times 7. Then the square root of 81 is 9. And our simplified expression, the answer, becomes 9 radical 7. So that's the way to get your graphing calculator, TI-83 or 84, to help you simplify radicals.